first of all, I'd just like to say I don't have any attestation papers whatsoever for my soldiers. Uh, a lot of them were destroyed in the Second World War. Some were burnt papers and some others were never found, and unfortunately, mine were never found. So, mine basically is about the families rather than the war, because I haven't any details. So, this is the life of Isaac Aycock, 1893 to 1916. This is Isaac. What a very handsome young fellow he was. Isaac Haycock was born on the 4th of January, 1893, in Walker, Sheffield, to parents William and Elizabeth Ann, Nee Wilkinson Haycock. His father was a crucible maker and later became a draper. His mother was also a draper and they lived at 133 Howard Road, Walkley, on the 1891 census, which was a shop with living accommodation at the corner of Duncan Street. They had one daughter, Lizzie, age one. On the 1901 census, they had moved across the road and now lived at 192, 194 Howard Road, which is now the Walkley Christ Church, the two shops, anyone familiar with that area. There were two adjoining shops where they ran their own drapery business. By now, as well as Lizzie, they had Horace, nine, Isaac, eight, and Willis, two. In 1911, they were still at the same address and had been married 25 years and had had seven children, but only four had survived, leaving Isaac with one sister and two brothers. Horace, who was a student teacher, and Willis at school. Elizabeth's father, Isaac Wilkinson, was also living there, a widower and retired steel melter. Isaac was now 18 and his occupation was listed as an insurance clerk dealing in accident and fire insurance. Isaac enlisted with the York and Lancashire Regiment, the 12th Battalion, as a private, Regiment Number 672, but sadly was killed on the 1st of July, 1916, aged 23, at the Battle of the Somme, France. He was remembered at the Tierpole Memorial, which reads, Isaac Haycock, Private six oh that sorry thank you pardon that's for the official UK soldiers that died in the Great War. <coughs> Private six seven two date of death the first of July nineteen sixteen age twenty three York and Lancaster Regiment C Company twelfth Battalion son of William and Elizabeth Ann Haycock of one nine two Howard Road Walkley Sheffield. Isaac was awarded the British and Victory Medals and in his will left his effects the total sum of £365, five shillings and tons to his father, William Haycock Draper. And this is his will at the side, the other side. You can just see it. Isaac was also remembered on Rules of Honour in the following places. Sheffield City Council, Sheffield City Battalion, St Mary's Church, Walkley. The descendants of Isaac Haycock have been most helpful. Mark Gebhard, the grandson of Lizzie Haycock and great nephew to Isaac, contacted Brian Haycock, the son of Willis Haycock and nephew to Isaac. His brother-in-law had two photos of Isaac on his family tree and Brian forwarded them on. We are most grateful to the family and their help has been much appreciated. That's Isaac. The next soldier is Frederick Staten Moses, 1894-1916. The photograph on the right was taken out of the Sheffield Telegraph and Star. The sketch on the left hand side has been done by a lady in this room tonight who sketched it for us and we're very grateful and I think you'll agree it really is to her how she's done it. Frederick Staten Moses was born in 1894 in Chester to parents Peter Moses, who was born in Preston, Prescock, Langs, and Mary E. Welsh Moses, born in Bagulit, Flint. They married in Prescott in 1887, and on the 1891 census were living in Roston, Denbyshire, Wales, with Peter listed as an insurance clerk and Mary a dressmaker. 
They have two sons, George W, age three, and Harry, age age one. Their niece, Annie Griffiths, also lived with them. She was a servant and came from St Helens in Lancashire. On the 1901 census, they have moved to Bloodwell Cottages in Holywell Flint with two sons, George Weigel Moses, age 12, and Frederick Staten Moses, age 7. Harry Hewitt Moses had died in 1889, age 9. These are the parents of Frederick, his mother and father, Peter and Mary. And this is his father and his brother George. <coughs> In 1911, they were now living at 25 Western Mill Terrace. Western Mill Terrace is, was demolished by the university and it was across from the Winter Street Hospital. And that now is where the Geography Building has been built. But uh, that's where it was. George, now aged 22, was a schoolmaster and Frederick, aged 17, attended the Central School, Leopold Street, Sheffield. In July 1912, age 19, Frederick enrolled at the University of Sheffield for a Bachelor of Science Honours degree in Physics. I, I ran the Sheffield University and was most fortunate. They said not all the records were kept, but this is the actual record of <coughs> enrolling at the, at the University. Frederick enlisted with York and Lancashire Regiment A Company as a private 190. His occupation stayed at Sheffield University student. He served his country in France but was sadly killed. Sorry. This is the student and business people uh, enlisting for the 12th Battalion uh, in the town hall in Sheffield. In the action on the 1st of age 22 in France at the Battle of the Somme in the Western European Theatre, he had been promoted to a Lance Corporal. He was remembered on the Tearful Memorial, which reads, Frederick Staten Moses, rank Lance Corporal, service number 190, date of death 1st of July 1916, Regiment York and Lancaster, 12th Battalion, panel reference Pier and Phase 14A and 14B. That's the list of the, all these particulars about him. Frederick was awarded the British and Victory Medals and also remembered on the Rose of Honour at the following places. The Sheffield University, Sheffield City Council, St Stephen's Church, Fawcett Street, Holly Leaf, Sheffield City Battalion, Walker Reform Club, Central School, Leopold Street, which the records are now in the High Stores School Library. The photos of Isaac's parents and brother, George Weibel Moses, were kindly donated by the daughter of George's brother-in-law in Hemsworth, Yorkshire, where George went to live and became the headmaster at Hemsworth West End School. We are most grateful to receive the photos and also for the donation of Frederick's school ruler, which he had carved his name on. <laughs> George Barnett, the life of George Barnett, 1895 to 1917. George Barnett was born in 1895 in Sheffield to parents George Henry and Annie Barnett. His father was born in Oakham, Rutland, and his mother in Lincoln. On the 1891 census, George and Annie were living at 95 Jericho Street, Sheffield, with one daughter, Emily, age nine, born in Nottingham. George's occupation was a plumber. In 1901, they had moved to 163 Providence Road, Walkley, and as well as Emily, now 19, they had another daughter, Annie, age 9, and their son, Georgie, age 6, both born in Sheffield. On the 1911 census, they still lived at 163 Providence Road. Emily had now married Fred Horsfield at St Mary's Church, Walkley, and had left home, leaving Annie, age 19, a wearing house hand in a wholesale chemist and George A. 15, a plumber's apprentice, following the same occupation as his father. George enlisted with the York and Lancashire Regiment as a private regiment, 
number 5891, so presumably that's the first number, was the reserves where they joined. And then on, went on to be 32273 on the 10th Service Battalion, but sadly was killed on the 21st of April 1917 in Prince and Flanders in the Western European Theatre. George is on the list of casualties for the Second Battle of the Scar, as the battalion records it. He is listed as specifically killed as opposed to died of wounds as some of the others were. His memorial is the Arras in Calais in France, plot B8 and reads, Private George Barnett, service number 32273, date of death 21st of April 1917. Regiment York and Lancashire, 10 Battalion. <coughs> George was awarded the British and Victory Medals and was remembered on the stained glass window in the Walker Reform Club and also on the Roll of Honour. Thank you. Okay, now next up, Julie Clark.